what's up to you glory here so you guys if i am honest i have to say during quarantine it's been really hard trying to entertain you know my kids but not only that i feel like it's even harder to find out what are the parents do how do we entertain ourselves how do we motivate ourselves to try new things well guess what this is the new year and i am going to try out some new hobbies let's get this started Thanks to Nordatrack for sponsoring this video. I've been quarantining with my family and I can't get outside too much. And I want to get outside and I want to be near water. So what's really cool about the Nordatrack is, as you can see, I can choose either studio or outdoor. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose outdoor and I can go to Dorney Lake, England. So I'm just gonna hit start workout here. There we go. Dorney Lake, England, start and finish. So let's get going. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> nice and relaxed. Oh, nice and, and relaxed. Paddle up in the pool down okay. the area. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm like actually on the lake. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this it's is like awesome. Oh, oh wow. Really Heart rate up. All right, let's do this. Yeah, muscles fired. Wow, this is so we're going up under a bridge now. I can actually feel the breeze. <laughs> so what's really cool about this machine is I found my fitness community by competing with iFit users. And how I found them was I looked them up on the leaderboard right here, right? And what it does is it pulls up all of these people here. Ah, uh, there I am! Dee, 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 dee. All of these people I can look at and see who my competition is. I can discover new friends. And not only that, I can go head to head in live workouts. So cool! This is my first like rower, right? Um, but what I love about it is it has this iFit community where you can do these high intensity workouts from home and they have world-class physical trainers that will adjust automatically to your machine in the moment. I can actually text my trainers like during a workout and then they'll respond. I love that this is a high intensity workout with low impact. You know, if I were to go for a run, um, it'll be more impact on my back and my knees, but this is just so amazing because I can really work out hard and get a really good sweat with low impact on my joints. Thanks to Nordatrack for sponsoring this video. Click the link below to get your own Nordatrack complete with iFit personal trainers. Okay, you guys, so another thing that I have been doing during quarantine is just trying out all of these new cool styles on Cairo. Cairo's hair has grown out a lot. And what I do before she goes to bed is I'll put them in braids just like this. So when it's time for me to do her hair, you know, the part's already there and her hair is not tangled um, at all. Cairo, do you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> my favorite hairstyle as a kid was when my mom would actually put my hair in ponytails. She would grease my hair with grease, and this grease was called Dax. And this Dax would make my hair so long. So I'm just um, using this band right here to just kind of wrap around her hair to keep this ponytail in place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna comb this out and I'm gonna braid it. Now, I like to keep, you know, the hair pretty simple. She's only two, and her attention span isn't that great. I have, of course, two kids, and Pre actually had more hair than Kyra, and he hated me doing his hair. Kyra, on the other hand, as you can see, she sits still, but I think what's helped with Kyra is I started doing her hair a lot, um, earlier than I was doing Cree's hair. Okay, so I've just braided her hair, and now I'm just gonna try these cute little barrettes that we've gotten. You guys, she's saying ow because of the dinosaurs, not because I'm doing her hair, okay? 
Cairo, she likes when her hair is just really free and when she's wearing a bonnet. My favorite hairstyle with Cairo is when I do the Bantu knots. I'm just gonna comb this out. Again, I always like to comb the hair out and put it in braids when she goes to bed so that her hair doesn't tangle. Take this brush and we're just gonna brush her, her, her sides down. We call these edges. Right, Cairo? Cairo, how old are you? Two. You're two? Cairo's two years old. Say hi, quick fix. <gasps> Cairo, you're gonna look like mommy when mommy was a little girl. So a good tip for when you're doing your child's hair is of course, to put something in front of them that they really like. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put a tablet in front of her, a movie on that she really, really likes just to keep their attention. She's been like my little doll. I just like to dress her up and then do her hair. I try to not pull um, or slip the edges down too tight because again, we want her to keep her edges. <laughs> There we go. This is a new hairstyle that we're doing for you, Cairo. We're gonna see if we like it. She has an older brother. Her brother loves dinosaurs. Her brother loves cars. Cairo has yet to play with a baby doll, which I think is really cool, you know what I mean? Just because, you know, she's a girl doesn't mean that she has to like stick to dolls, you know? I think it's really cute how Cairo looks up to her brother. Yes, because I'm taking this up, right? I want to try something new, but this one knows how to do it. And during quarantine, you've been playing piano, correct? Yes. Okay, so can you show me? Okay, so this is uh, for Elise? Yeah, by Beethoven. Okay, go ahead. Oh, there's more. So that's D? Yes. And that's H? No. There's no H in piano. You guys, I put myself up to the task to try new things and I am very motivated because I'm used to being good at things. You know what I mean? I'm a good mom. I'm a good wife. I'm a great wife. I'm a good actress. I, I know how to memorize things, but Mom. geez, I just don't know how to do these things. Well, I did a good job on Cairo's hair, because that's easy. How about, how about, how about we just do this? <laughs> Mom, don't break the compute. Don't break the piano. <laughs> so another thing that I've been doing during quarantine, just to keep myself, you know, rather busy, I've been playing games, board games. We have done so many different board games, I can't even tell you puzzles, but I actually wanted to try the Rubik's Cube. I haven't done this, you guys, ever since I was, I want to say like a little kid. So this is going to be very interesting. The record for, you know, getting this all correct was in 3.47 seconds. That's like fast. Okay, so let's see if I can beat that. Okay, the Rubik's Cube. Let's do this. This is great, because this will keep your mind occupied. Wait a minute, no, okay. My shoulders are like tensing up already. Is this supposed to like take away stress? But so far it's not. We'll just put it right there as decoration. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, you guys. So, the other new hobby that I will be trying out is roller skating. And look, these light up. Can you see? So cool, right? I have not been on a pair of skates since I was eight. So let's see how this goes, okay? So, remember I used to skate backwards? Well, maybe I shouldn't start that right away. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, remember I used to do turns. I just gotta warm up, you know? But it's crazy how when you get older, remember I used to do little spins. Actually, there's an episode on Sister Sister of me uh, ice skating. You know, I used to get on the ice. Man, times have changed, but this is a great new hobby as an adult. And maybe I can get my kids to start doing this, you know, and they can skate with me. <laughs> Gosh, those girls on the internet make it look so easy. You know, they're like in their shorts and they're like, have their sunflowers in their hair and they're like, you guys there you have it i hope you enjoyed watching me try some new and fun hobbies i hope you guys do that for yourself let me know in the comments below which ones you're going to try out which ones you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs> thanks to nordatrack for sponsoring this video